Hello, I am back in my car. I forgot to wear eyeliner again today too. And I knew I was filming a video and I just didn't put eyeliner on. Hello guys, Carolyn here. Today I am doing a video um, that actually a lot of people have been asking me to do. Um, talking about W Project 4 and reviewing the song and the music video and all of that stuff. And then also I've gotten a lot of people who have been wondering like what I think the future of Willem Entertainment is with this new boy group, this W Project set of boys, and also with Rocket Punch's debut, especially with Myungsu leaving Willem earlier last last month. He left Willem Entertainment, not Infinite, but Willem Entertainment. I made a whole video on that. It was a very sad, emotional video, but yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. I don't know what this lighting is. It does this sometimes over here when it's sunny out and I don't want i don't know i can't figure out how to make it better so this is what we're doing so yes i apologize for the lighting of this video but i just wanted to film this little like chat in my car yesterday i decided to do some deep cleaning and watched hotel de luna most of the day so that's why i did not get a chance to film this yesterday and um also i filmed like 15 videos this weekend actually more than that it was probably like 16 or 17 and just like needed a break from filming for a day first of all if you don't know w project 4 um was all of five of the boys who were in produce um we have four of the boys who were from Wollum under produce so uh huang yin sung kim dong yoon uh gu chang wook gu chang wook is his last name ju ju chang wook <laughs> and um Kim and So. Those four were under Wollum during produce along with cha Juno, who made it into x1 so he's an x1 he's not in this picture right now. Lee Hyup was also a independent trainee during Produce X and he joined Wilm after he was eliminated. So that was super exciting. So he's in this group. There's also a sixth member. His name is Sung Joon. He's the blonde one in the music video. Pretty easy to spot. He is not in Produce. He's just a Wilm trainee who is with the rest of these trainees. So, so they released a song called uh, One Minute, One Second this morning and or yesterday rather and overall i like the song it reminds me a lot of the previous w project songs to be honest it sounds like a w project song and i don't really know how to explain that but i will go ahead and link the other three w project songs in the description box if you've never heard the first three um the first one was a collab between a female trainee who i st who since i believe has left Wom entertainment uh so yoon and also ju chan of golden child the second w project was um, Jung Jun and Tag from Golden Child. The third one was uh, Jisuk, who was in Golden Child, but it has since left the group and Wolm Entertainment. Uh, Dale and who was the last one? Dong Hyun? I'll go ahead and link all three of those if you want to check those out. Uh, but overall, I like the song. I think it's a great song. Um, it's like I said, a W Project song. I don't think this is debut worthy um for those who don't know w project usually does not promote on music shows it's just a way for willem to showcase their trainees and like i said it was used mostly for golden child pre-debut and i think they're doing w project for these willem boys because they're not ready to debut and i'll talk about why i think they're not ready to debut still because they wanted to do something in the meantime which is very smart for willem to like release this because there's no strings attached it's just a little single thing together um they had a little choreography couple of different sets in the music video uh nothing too fancy i wish the music video wasn't so dark because there's some shots that i was like who like what is happening who is there a couple comments about the song is chang's voice is actually so much better than i thought it was like in produce you don't see the woolen boys in produce never really had that many lines or that many parts minus yup because he was the main vocalist and none of the other boys really had that many parts, so seeing them in a group together is like, okay, so this is what you're capable of. Okay, because it's hard on produce when there's a hundred boys, um, especially for Minso, who was eliminated much earlier than the other boys, along with another trainee, Moon Juno, who has since left Willem Entertainment. It's much easier in a project like this to kind of see the potential of all the boys um, and kind of what they're actually capable of when it's not Mnet's editing, when it's Willem's editing very different things <laughs> um so i liked that i also thought that um the new boy sung Jun, he 
was good. I don't think vocally he added a ton to the group, um, but Hyup's voice, man, oh, so pretty. I could listen to him sing all day. And also Yoon Sung rapped a little bit, which I thought was super interesting and super cool. So it was good to see that because Yoon Sung was always shown on produce as a great dancer. And that's like literally all they ever talked about. I was like, I really don't know what his vocal capabilities are or his rap capabilities, if he has any, like, I have no idea. So that was nice to see in W Project. Um, Yoon Sung is definitely like the center of this group. If most produ non-produce groups don't really have centers, but if there were centers, he's the center of this group. He's also the leader from my understanding. Either he or Hyup are gonna be the leader, but I feel like it's gonna be Yoon Sung. So yeah, those are the positives that I have about this. Why do I think they're not ready to debut? Because I feel like as much as I loved the song and loved the music video and I thought it was a really good like just little project song thing for them, I don't think they're ready to debut because if they debuted as this group of six, I would feel like this group is missing something. And I was thinking about this on my commute to work this morning because yesterday I couldn't quite like figure out what I thought was missing from this group. I just knew that there was something missing and it's not Cha Juno. It's not like if he was here too, I would, I would still feel the same way because in X1 songs, we're seeing more of uh, the X1 members capabilities with their debut, which is amazing. I'm literally obsessed with their debut. I listened to Flash and um, like always, like literally too much probably. <laughs> Those are like the three songs I'm listening to right now are Flash, um, like always, and one minute, one second. So, also I went back to green tea. That's fun. <sighs> I think my main issue currently, well, I have two. I think that Hyup is a great vocalist. He's a great main vocal, that's fine. But I feel like most Wom groups have two of those. And there's nobody else, like I thought maybe Sung Joon was gonna be that guy. There's really nobody else who is as great of a vocalist as Hyup. And it's not like, the other members are bad vocalists. They're definitely not bad vocalists, but I don't see currently, maybe they will change. These are all still very young trainees, very new trainees. So maybe this will change because So Yoon from Rocket Punch, when she was on Produce, I would never have guessed that she would have been the main vocal in Rocket Punch. Like never would have guessed. But I feel like Hyup needs someone to back him up. And I feel like Dong Yoon and Yoon Sung, my two biases by the way, not official two biases, I'm trying to just choose one, but um, if I can't choose one, I'm gonna double bias both of them because I double bias in every Wollum group anyways, including Rocket Punch, if Unbi joins, then I'm gonna double bias her and Yanni, but while Yoon Sung and Dong Yoon were great rappers in this particular song, I think that they need someone who is a little stronger at rapping. So I feel like Hyup needs another like person to back him up. Um, vocal wise and could Chachuno be that person? Potentially, but right now I'm not sure. His parts in Flash really impressed me at Chachuno's, so I feel like probably in two and a half years could be one of those people, but I feel like until then, because there's no way they're waiting two and a half years to debut these boys, like they'll probably debut in 2020 to be honest. They need another person to back Hyup up and Changwook did a great job in the song being that person, but I don't think he is that person. And then for rapper wise, Yoon Sung and Dong Yoon were good, but it was one of those things that the reason, they're just not like the kind of rappers. Like if you compare them to Hoya, Tag, Jung Joon, the other like rappers of Wolm Entertainment, um, Dong Woo, it's not the same thing. So I feel like Wolm is not ready to debut them and that's why they're doing this W project because they know that there's something missing from this team. So. Yes, um, that's my opinion on that. I, I think that the song was super good and that the music video was good, but if it had been their debut, I probably would have been disappointed because it's not debut worthy, in my opinion. Now moving on to what I think of the future of Olam, I think that in one and a half years, Unbi and Chaewon are gonna join Rocket Punch. I 100% think that. I think unless something happens with their contracts with Wolum in the meantime, I think the current plan is to send them to Rocket Punch, which I think is fair. I think both of them would fit in perfectly. You can say that Unbi is too old, but like she's also in that case too old to be in Eyes One, which is not a thing. She's fine in Eyes One, she'll be fine in Rocket Punch. I'm not worried about it. I can't see either girl going solo and I hope neither go girl goes solo unless it's like they per are members of Rocket Punch but later release solo albums, you know what I mean? Like I can see Envy doing that. I can't see her being in 
like just a solo. Also, Willem does not promote solo as well. So we don't want her to be a solo. I will say that I am extremely impressed with the way Willem has been promoting this W project group. I wish they had like a name. I'd hate calling them Woolens. I don't like that name. So I need like another name <laughs> to call them. But the the Woolen Boys, um, maybe I'll just call them that. So the Woolen Boys, I'm surprised at how much they're promoting them. They have been like recently releasing teasers every single day, which I guess they did for the other W projects. It just seemed like more because there were more boys. There's never been more than three boys or people in a W project before. So the fact that there were six, also, that background that they're standing by literally looks like something Infinite would have used for like one of their albums. So silly. So I'm impressed by the way they're promoting them. They also started this WWW show, which I can't remember what it stands for right now, but I watched the first episode of it this morning and it was really, it was like a behind the scenes of them recording the song and it was really good. It was like a five minute clip. It showed all six boys. It was like, you know, like really good promotion. And I wouldn't be surprised if they do like a one the K performance or something like that. They won't go on music shows, but um, other W projects have done that in the past. So I feel like we'll definitely get that. I'm just very impressed by how they're promoting them. The fact that Willem released this W project is fantastic. I think they're doing a great job. I think if they can handle Rocket Punch well, if they can give them, like, if nothing else this year, if they get a comeback at the beginning of 2020 and then the boy group debuts mid to end 2020 is kind of my thought process. I think the W Project could do another thing. Um, also, we'll never, like, shows us all of the members of a group until it's time to debut. Like, I have never gone into any of Willem's groups knowing every single member. Kind of a obsessed Willem stan, like hardcore Willem stan. So I didn't know half the members of Rocket Punch. I didn't know a couple members of Lovelies. Um, Infinite, I didn't know a couple of the members. And Golden Child, there. I like followed Golden Child religiously for literally three or four years and I did not know three of the boys when they debuted. I think for the rest of this year, we'll get a golden child comeback. I freaking need a golden child comeback. It's ridiculous that there is no golden child comeback yet or like even rumors of a golden child comeback. There's literally nothing that I've seen out in the hemisphere of Willem Entertainment of golden child making a comeback, but like they freaking need a comeback, especially if Rocket Punch and Willem's, the Willem boys are going to take most of 2020 which is my thought. I also think Sungi will get an album after he gets discharged from the military, unless he leaves Wolm Entertainment. But Sungi is one of those members that I can never see him leaving Wolm Entertainment, like at all. I don't know. That man is in Wolm for life. Like probably will be their next CEO, to be honest, even though it should be me. But you know, maybe Sungi will be a co-CEO with me. We'll see. I think we might get a Lovelies comeback. I feel like we definitely could, but well, I'm just like, I, I worry about Lovelies, honestly, all the time. I worry about them more than Golden Child because I feel like every time Lovelies make a comeback, very similar, which is a Willem thing. They release very similar music, but it's like too similar. Like they need to let them experiment a little bit. I think Lovelies would honestly kill a girl crush concept at this point in time, but they still release like the same kind of song. And I think a lot of people get bored of that. I'm even getting a little bored of that. So anyways, my phone just overheated because it's like 95 degrees outside, even though it's September 3rd today, it's supposed to be fall now, but it's 95 degrees outside. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna end this video here, but those are, I think, everything I wanted to say. I'm a little worried about Lovelies, but hopefully Willem will pull through with them. They're on that show now, what's it called, Queendom, so maybe that'll help. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what you think about um, Willem's new upcoming boy group down in the comment section down below, and what you thought of their W Project 4 release, and yes, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye!